Thank you for that live report, Reagan. Students at the High School of Science and Technology gathered together with school officials today to discuss safety nearly two weeks after a, a shooting inside of their school. Western Mass News reporter Abby Marilla joins us live in studio. After catching up with some students this afternoon, and Abby, are students feeling satisfied with what they've heard? Yes, Abby, SciTech students tell me they feel better after hearing from school leaders today. They feel like their concerns are being heard. I feel like going forward, I feel like we'll be working closely and knitly as a school. Us admins and us three right here to change everything. I don't think there's anything more we can ask for. Students at the High School of Science and Technology in Springfield tell Western Mass News an assembly was held Friday morning to address concerns about safety protocols after a large fight broke out in a gunshot fired inside their school over a week ago. Police say three adults made their way inside the school, one of them with a gun and another with a knife two of those suspects in custody. SciTech students we spoke to say they feel safer now knowing what safety measures are in place. I think everything was appropriate and it went smoothly and the safety protoc protocols are honestly like they're working out so far. We also spoke with other students who tell us communication has improved with safety being the priority. Everything that they're going to do and have been doing they've informed on the announcements every single morning. Well, we see the security every single day in school. All the like my peers and the students have recognized that. And overall students say the school is taking the right action to help prevent future incidents. I think what we're doing is is the right call, but we also have to be wary about other situations. As for Springfield Public Schools, we're told the district always works to ensure the safety of students and no further preventative measures are expected at this time. Reporting live in studio, Abigail Murillo for Western Mass News.